so you want to be the next Guragar, like Hololive VN Guragar, like two million subscribers Guragar, who is the darling of the Hololive EN group. Well, honestly, me too. Uh, if I was as popular as any of the Hololive girls, I would be incredibly happy, but that's really not going to happen anytime soon. So while this might be a good and ambitious goal, it's not a smart goal. And today we're going to talk very quickly about smart goals. And the difference between a smart goal and a regular goal is that a smart goal is very clear and keeps you accountable. So let's go through it. Smart goals are very specific. They're measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. So we'll, we'll, let's go through each of these. Specific. What exactly do you want to achieve? And how will you achieve this goal? If it's something that's vague, like I just want to be successful, what does that mean? What does success mean? Just as importantly, how will you achieve this goal? Think about all the New Year's resolutions people set where I just they, they just put, I want to lose weight. Well, how are you going to lose weight? Are you going to do more exercise? Are you going to eat healthier? Uh, by attaching that to your goal, it helps remind you of the steps you need to take to become successful. Measurable. Is your goal measurable? Rather, how do you know if you've even succeeded? Um, sometimes this means putting a number on it, like I want to get uh, 1,000 Twitch followers, or I want to hit Twitch affiliate, right? It, it's very clear cut how close you're getting to the goal, and this helps keep you accountable. Achievable, is your goal even possible? Um, like I said, Guragar is one of the biggest Hololive EN stars, and I believe that anyone can be successful uh, but it's not going to be easy, and it, the first step to getting there is breaking that goal down into smaller and smaller pieces until it's actually doable, right? R is relevant. Can you realistically do this? Uh, this is a little bit different from uh, achievable, because it, it's, it makes you ask the question, is this the top priority for you? Should this be the top priority for you? Do you have any other commitments that might stop you? Things like not having a secure financial base, or not having a good computer, or not having good internet, or maybe you work a full-time job, or you have to take care of family. These are all really important things that will make it harder for you to achieve this goal, right? Um, I'm not saying you should give up, but I'm saying you should adjust your goal to uh, encapsulate the realities of your situation. Now, you don't want to be naive. It's very hard, even under the best of circumstances, to become a successful Twitch streamer. If you're also working on a whole bunch of other stuff, you have to try and keep that in mind. Uh, for example, maybe your first smart goal could just be to stream three times a week. Right? If you have a full-time job, that's already pretty tough, and it kind of helps you build that rhythm so you can uh, come up with harder goals down the line. You have to be realistic and make sure the goal is relevant to your situation. Time bound. How long will it take you to realistically complete this goal? And this is so important because if you don't have a time limit, you're just going to procrastinate. I know you're going to because I do too. If your time limit is like in, in six months, you want something to happen. Uh, you can look at your results after one month, after two months, and you can see, okay, am I getting closer? Like, are things working? Do I need to mix things up? How on track am I to finish this goal? So having a time limit is super, super important. Let's go back to that original goal. I want to be the next Gura, right? And let's make it into a SMART goal. For me, my SMART goal looks like this. I want to hit 600 YouTube subscribers by the end of February through providing entertaining content and growing a community based on genuine friendships. So specific, it's a very specific goal, and I'm telling you exactly how I'm, I'm going to do it. Measurable, it, it's 600 YouTube subscribers. Either I'm hitting that or I'm not. Achievable. It's, it's going to be ambitious. Right now, we're, we're at around 375 when I'm making this video, uh, and it's early January, so I'm hoping we can, we, can, we can do it. Hopefully, you can help me. Thank you. Please, please, please. Um, but I think it's possible. Relevant, this is right now my, my number one priority. I have a lot of stuff going on in real life, but not, it's not going to stop me from working on this as much as I can. And time-bound, end of February, that's my goal. Being able to adapt and pivot based on your performance and based on how how close you are to getting to your goal is very important so i want to hear your smart goal right now whether that's if you want to be a vtuber whether if you want to be a streamer or a content creator or i don't know 
if anything, if you want to be a better like ballet dancer, what is your SMART goal right now? Let me know in the comments below, or you can follow me on Twitter or Discord down in the links below. Thanks, guys.